Jacqueline Smith gained fame primarily for portraying Kelly Garrett in the television series Charlie's Angels, which aired from 1976 to 1981. Despite her journey to becoming one of Hollywood's most accomplished and attractive women, Jacqueline Smith encountered numerous obstacles like multiple divorce, cancer, and much more. Join us as we delve into the life story of Jacqueline Smith while you enjoy rare photos of her. Born on October 26, 1945, in Houston, Texas, she grew up in a modest family. While her life has been predominantly private, her career in the entertainment industry has made her a household name. Her father had Russian Jewish roots, while her mother's heritage encompassed English, Scottish, Irish, and Welsh ancestry. In 1964, she graduated from Mirabeau B. Lamar High School. Initially, she pursued psychology and drama at Trinity University, Texas, in San Antonio, but decided to shift her path after just a year. Opting for a different direction, she relocated to New York and became a part of the Balanchine School of American Ballet. Jacqueline Smith's early career took off with her unpaid appearance in Goodbye Columbus in 1969. She then secured a significant role in The Adventurers, where she portrayed a journalist. Continuing her journey in the entertainment world, Smith made guest appearances on popular shows such as The Partridge Family, McCloud, Switch, and The Rookies. She also ventured into the realm of made-for-television movies, with notable roles in Probe and Bootleggers. Jacqueline Smith loved life. In the midst of her career challenges, Jacqueline found comfort with fellow actor Roger Davis. Love blossomed between them. They took a leap of faith and got married in 1968, hoping for happiness. While Jacqueline's career was on the upswing in 1970, her personal life took a downturn, leading to the breaking point of her marriage to Roger. By 1975, they decided to part ways, leaving behind dreams in ruins and promises unfulfilled. Despite these turbulent times, Jacqueline displayed remarkable resilience. She refused to succumb to sorrow and pressed on, navigating heartache and disappointment. Then, in 1976, a seemingly life-changing opportunity came her way when she was offered the role in the pilot of a new TV series, Charlie's Angels. In March 1976, Jacqueline Smith took on the role of Kelly Garrett in the TV movie, Charlie's Angels, alongside Kate Jackson and Farrah Fawcett. They portrayed private investigators working for a reclusive millionaire named Charles Townsend, voiced by John Forsyth, who directed their missions via a speakerphone. Not so simple, Charlie. The Arabian girl's father's always been extremely protective. Casper and Tolan decided the only chance they'd have to make their move was during the race, when she'd be out of her father's sight for a few minutes. The pilot's success led to a full series, which debuted in September 1976 and ran for five seasons. It became a massive hit in the U.S. and worldwide, sparking a range of merchandise and magazine covers featuring the Angels. In 1978, Jacqueline Smith unexpectedly found love in Dennis Cole, a heartwarming twist in her life story. They tied the knot, and for a while, it seemed like they had it all. However, fate had different plans. In 1981, their marriage sadly ended due to complex struggles, including Dennis's battles with substance abuse and infidelity. Despite the heartbreak and disappointment, Jacqueline refused to let these bitter chapters define her. She continued to excel in her career and personal endeavors. Later on, she met Tony Richmond, sparking hope for a lasting love story. They married a year later and had two children, Gaston and Spencer. But over time, issues like infidelity and financial struggles strained their marriage, leading to its dissolution in 1989. Jacqueline didn't give up on love. At age 51, she found love with Brad, a surgeon who had touched her heart and her father's. Their love blossomed in secret, and in 1997, they exchanged vows in a beautiful ceremony, promising to stand by each other through thick and thin. This time, her love story took on a new and hopeful chapter. Smith has been married to Houston cardiothoracic surgeon Brad Allen since then. Jacqueline Smith Cancer Battle Jacqueline Smith faced a challenging battle with breast cancer. In 2003, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, a diagnosis that undoubtedly shook her world. Jacqueline's tumor was small, which allowed for prompt action. She underwent a lumpectomy and radiation therapy with admirable courage and determination. In 2010, Smith took part in the documentary film titled One a Minute, which centered on the topic of breast cancer. In the film, Jacqueline Smith shared her own journey with breast cancer, detailing her diagnosis, treatment, and recovery. Her participation in this project aimed to raise awareness about the disease and highlight the importance of regular screenings and early detection. By openly discussing her own struggle, she became an advocate for women's health and cancer prevention. One a Minute 
also featured other prominent women who had faced breast cancer, including fellow actress Olivia Newton-John and several medical experts. Together, they shared their stories and knowledge to empower women to take control of their health and be proactive in managing their risk of breast cancer. Just when it seemed that Jacqueline's life was falling into place, a heartbreaking curveball came her way. After celebrating her marriage, she had to face the devastating loss of her dear father in 1998. The bond between them was exceptionally close, and he imparted invaluable life lessons, emphasizing the importance of kindness, generosity, and humility. Dealing with the grief of losing her father was an immense burden for Jacqueline. However, she leaned on her faith, family, and friends to navigate this difficult period. In honor of her father's memory, she persevered, working hard and remaining true to her passion, designing and being businesswomen. They have to be expert, and I think that's what brings us together, which is what I love. So it's fashion, but still has a lot of function. We have so many different points of view, and what might be popular in California might not be in Ohio or New York. In 1985, Jacqueline Smith ventured into the business world by introducing her line of women's apparel for Kmart. Notably, she was a pioneer in the concept of celebrities creating their own brands rather than simply endorsing existing ones. This move diversified her career beyond acting. Interestingly, her successful business endeavors even found their way into popular culture. An episode of The Simpsons humorously mocked her numerous business successes, portraying her as having her own line of axe heads. In May 2009, Jacqueline Smith allowed a documentary crew to provide insights into her personal life, design philosophy, and her relationship with Kmart in an online video series sponsored by the company. Her expansion into home furnishings continued with the introduction of the Jacqueline Smith Today product line for bedding and bath accessories in Kmart stores in the fall of 2008. Take a look at this photo. Earlier this week, she posted a sweet photo of her and her 39-year-old son, Gaston Richmond, on Instagram. My sunshine! Smith captioned the cute pic, though the conversation around it was quickly monopolized by the actress-turned-businesswoman's youthful looks. He looks like your brother instead of your son, one fan noted, while another wrote, God gave you some good genes, Jacqueline. Jacqueline has been candid about using cosmetic procedures, such as Botox and fillers, to gracefully navigate the pressures of maintaining a natural appearance and combating her own insecurities related to aging. Even at the age of 76, Jacqueline Smith continues to be a resilient force in the entertainment industry. However, she faces unique challenges, particularly in an industry that often prioritizes youth. These choices reflect her determination to remain relevant in a field that frequently values youth over experience. I've got a date to go jogging with our client. Helga? Most charming lady. Oh, but Bosley, she's hardly your type. I mean, you hate walking to the car and... Well, Helga, after she won the race, she ran all the way back to Venice. I mostly knew friends of hers, Mrs. Lipson. And when her mechanic, Jerry Adams, heard I would be passing through here, he asked me to stop and say hello.